Hey, my name is John Dodds from the Philadelphia Unemployment Project, and the reason we're here today is the state Senate has returned to Harrisburg after two months vacation, and they have about nine days to pass legislation to insure the uninsured. We've had legislation that was introduced in Harrisburg, and it was proposed in Harrisburg back in February 2007 by the governor to cover all Pennsylvanians. The legislature of the House passed a bill in February to cover hundreds of thousands of people in this state without insurance. Full coverage, good coverage with health benefits and, I'm sorry, and, and prescription benefits. The kind of coverage that everybody deserves in this country. Am I right? Yes. We all deserve that, but almost a million people in Pennsylvania have no health insurance today. We are, the most visible part of our job is dealing with victims of violent injury, um, and homicides, drug deaths, things of that nature, but part of our mandate by state law is also to examine the bodies of those who die of apparently natural disease, but while they're not under the care of a physician or under the care of a health care provider. And so on a nearly daily basis, we see the bodies of people coming to our office who die of common and preventable and treatable diseases like high blood pressure and diabetes and heart disease and emphysema and who have not seen a doctor in years or who have seen a doctor and have prescriptions that are written but don't fill them for whatever reason. What do we want? Children, women, men are entitled to health care. That is something that should be a basic right that everyone in this state should have. I work with a nonprofit organization, Child Space Cooperative Development. We work with people like Jacqueline and the business that employs her. And it's not that her director doesn't think that her teachers deserve health insurance. She does. She's working with us and with all of you try to convince the legislators that early education teachers deserve health insurance just like everyone else does. I can't work the same hours I used to work. I'm unable to function like I used to function and I don't have health insurance. So this issue is supremely and uh, important to everybody. And let's remember, we are a commonwealth, not just a state. We're a commonwealth. And the word commonwealth means what is whatever we do is to benefit everybody. Now, that everybody that's in Oak and Harrisburg took an oath to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, not just the state of Pennsylvania, but the power of the Pennsylvania. So we're here today to let everybody know, including the Republicans who are holding the bill up in the Senate and don't want to come to a vote, that we're not going to let it rest. We're going to keep on the, we're going to keep the pressure on and not let this bill go to waste. Many of you might know that we also have a childbirth crisis going on in the city. We've had 15 maternity units closed in the last 11 years. It's getting harder and harder for women to choose birth in the nation's birthplace. Um, ironically enough, right? Um, it was really touching. I was at the forum and there were women who were expecting to have been planning to give birth at Chestnut Hills maternity unit and we're very concerned about the low morale of staff as they might be losing their jobs very shortly. And um, it was really touching to see the nurses and the midwives letting them know that they were 100% committed to giving them the best care possible throughout the entirety of their pregnancy and birth experience. Uh, on the adult basic waiting list, we have 43,000 women of childbearing age. This health insurance would make it possible for them to get adequate prenatal care to ensure that they have healthy babies. And I think we all know that that's a good idea. 